What's he doing? He's going to Leon, so I should as well. Because there's a big, ugly stack coming there. And I think he's just... Nope, he's going to head the... To go kill the Peasant Revolt. Also, Jesus Christ, 6,000 men. Actually, this is my county, so I need to go help. Okay, they just assaulted everything and got rid of the whole thing. Jesus Christ. A subtle touch. As per your orders, the Chancellor Bertero has been corresponding with all the important scholarly nobles of the known world. Some of them have been intrigued by the inquiries put forward. Others have been skeptical, while some have been outright dismissive. However, select few have been relaying mysterious rumors from the north, stories sounding nothing short of magic. Bertero informs you that, once contact, that one contact in particular is worried about the repercussions if it became known that they have been entertaining these borderline heretic ideas. It pains me to say, my lord, but this sort of gossip does not come for free. I may be a diplomat, but I'm not a hypnotist. So I lose some gold, but I don't have any gold. Uh, so I can't do it. I don't want to go to minus 30. I'm at war. Um, peasants have always been revolting. Indeed. My wife is pregnant again. Jesus Christ. Uh, I need to go near my liege one more time. Because I don't want the same crap to happen again. We are very, very underpowered if they decide to attack us. But I still can't get any mercenaries to join. I mean, I could borrow money from the Jewish and use that to pay, but my balance is not very good. So, why can I imprison him? Seeks to kill Lucidio. Hey, hey, hey! Known plots. End it. Also... And I can't end it? Why can't I end it? Because he's... Somewhere else. Why the hell does he want to kill my guy? He's a good guy. I like him. He's 16 learning. I think he was my doctor, actually. Um, okay. Okay, good. Nothing else. My wisdom and mercy are legendary. Yeah, you're damn right they are. Okay. Also, holy shit, nine people watching. Hi, guys. This war is kinda sorta not going anywhere, I don't think. Nope, 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 nope. In spite of all his efforts, Vertedo's search for information on how to prolong the life of his master has turned up fruitless. Disappointment is written all over your face as you rise to leave the council meeting. He avoids your gaze for months, but he's not the only one. Whenever you enter the room nowadays, people grow quiet. The rumor says you're dying. In a sense, it is true, but aren't we all? You still have trouble sleeping. Was life always this awkward? Jesus Christ, that's bleak. Oh, come the fuck on, Lollard her Heresy. So I lose 10 piety. I don't need a heresy right now. Um, Braganza is a Lollard uh, faith thing, so I'll use him to convert Braganza again, and then we'll see what happens. 
Okay, during a particularly heated argument in the council, you stepped in as Count Gautier of Santiago was making a fool of himself. You managed to soothe the debaters and win the argument for him. This turned out to be a great move on your part, as he now feels indebted to you. Now, when to call the favor? Gain 150 prestige, though. That's really good. But, the problem is that I don't know how to use these favors. Like, okay... I can call in council support, but I don't know. I'll see the next time. Actually, the council is useless right now because we have absolute rule. The leech council is um, nothing. It's bullshit. But I do have favors with two different people. Oh, no. It's returning a favor to the king. Shit. Yeah, the council is empowered. Wait, didn't we vote for... Absolute rule? I don't understand. Did my Zoroastrians die? Hi, Coyote. Um, yeah, my Zoroastrians died. Uh, or actually just, I got fired from my county. I, um... I do want to go back once. Like, my, my plan was to, is to, is still... To one day go back to that thing and see what I can do once I know more about the game. So that I can see, like, what's the difference between a badly run campaign and a well run campaign in that setting. Which is a very, like, very small setting. But, um, but uh, luck also is a big part of it because it can just go wrong. Duchy of Asturias. Okay. Why, though? You have all the counties in the Duchy of Asturias. Okay. Fine. Whatevs. Um, how... Another daughter. It was one of those situations where you didn't want to tell the truth in case it would hurt the person. But in the same time, honesty is a virtue. So, I can be deceitful, which gives me intrigue but loses me diplomacy. Or, I can be honest. Which... Loses me intrigue and gains me diplomacy. Uh, I have an intrigue of zero, so I might as well just max out on my diplomacy. I think. So now my, my counselors are giving benefits. I don't understand when that is or isn't the case. So I, ha I am now honest. And what is happening? What's this? This is an army from Aquitaine. Is he going to attack that guy? That's a really important question. Because if so, no, he isn't. Bollocks. I was so hopeful. Turned out not so much the case. Ah, <sighs> this war is going nowhere, and I'm going to lose it. I have 30... 300 dudes that I can... get to help. I should do it, shouldn't I? I think I should. What's this? So this is an army that is actually in this war, so what if I go do something there? Okay. King Almosh of Hungary has decided to abandon nomadic life and settle down in Hungary, so... Hungary is now a kingdom? Good. I killed that small stack, which doesn't actually mean much, but... Oh, no, 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 no. Go through Valladolid, please. But it is a victory, so it does help the war. Uh, what is this? I'm sorry, what? West Francian claim on Bur Burgundy War. Why am I in it? Why the hell? 
Am I in this? Oh, because he's... Allied? Or what? Whatever. Nothing seems to be actually happening. Except that... Oh god, is he leaving to fight in... Is he leaving to fight in West Francia? Oh Jesus Christ, how stupid... How bloody stupid can you be? You, go back to Braganza. What the actual fuck, though? I'll be back ASAP. I have to drop my brother off at school. Have fun, man. See you soon. What is happening? Actually, I'll just dismiss everybody. Just try to recover a little bit. So this bishop isn't giving me anything because he's loyal to the Pope. So I will take... Oh no, because I need to kill the... Get rid of the heresy. Actually, how disloyal is he? He's 48. Hmm... It's all because of the levies. It is all because of the levies. So if I give him a gift... I need 22. Mm. Nope. Alright, so without any other armies here, I can't actually do anything about this. Um, he's just gonna take down Valladolid again. He's assaulting it. He's going to get rid of the whole thing. Initiated the massive recruitment drive. Okay. What does that mean, though? Oh, goody. This war is progressing terribly. And he didn't get... Ex he did. Navarra... Brege and Leon. So we are... He did get allies. So Navarra, Leon, uh, and so on. Where's Leon, though? Doesn't exist. Hmm. I don't know. Camp fever killed both my heirs and my ruler still has it despite the successful treatment. This might be the end. Oops. When I'm the king of Spain, am I going to make any fun laws? Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to be the king of Spain anytime soon. I'm a duke. And I'm old. And my war chest isn't going to happen anytime soon. So I need to gain some money in the meantime. My levies are all maxed out. My marshal is really good. And he's doing what he can, but it's not going to work. Are they coming? Yeah, somebody's coming to... Oh, Evra is south. So, nope. Not that it matters. Do you have any other wars? It would be really cool if you had any other wars on your hand. No. Shit. Yeah, good. You're winning your war in Lothar fucking Ringia. But it's at minus 99. And it's going to go horribly. During my visit, to, during his visit to my court, the Chancellor of Asturias, Prince Caton of Asturias, has been going on and on about what a benevolent and peaceful ruler his liege, King Adelfonso III of Asturias, is. But other members of the court have informed me of what a shameful and shameless and deceitful liar both he and his liege are. So, ah, fuck you. 
I don't care. Where are you going? Valladolid. You're going away from my county. Uh, who's she? She's my heir's wife, isn't she? Yes, she is. She died in childbirth. That's pretty awful. But she gave him a son. He created the Duchy of Galicia. Interesting. A son was born to Lucia the Unfaithful. <laughs> Lucia the Unfaithful. And Count Vela of Vizcaya. Wait, that's not my son. Okay. So I should invest in a tech upgrade. What does that mean? Morale of armies, global supply limit, red news. Or. Which, what, hmm? Oh, I should invest in one of these. So noble customs, feudal vassal opinion, city vassal opinion, temple vassal opinion, piety, prestige, and short reign years, opinion penalty for different cultures and religions, or allows medium centralization and religious control mandate. Which one should I choose? I kind of want to go for medium centralization, but I don't know if I can choose it. My realm. Oh, I don't even have low. I don't have laws. Jesus Christ. Uh, I can't choose absolute cognatic. Of course not. Wait, can I? No. No, 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 no. Because I don't have full status of women, that's what I need. I can't change my succession laws because I haven't trained for 10 years and my vassals hate me. Okay. Uh, shit, that's not what I wanted. Realm. I can improve centralization, which increases my domain size and my vassal limit reduces. But I don't care because my domain size is too small anyway. Is, is too big anyway. Uh, revoke title is allowed. <laughs> Obligations. So if I go to levies on the nobles, that should help slightly. Uh, and council doesn't care. I can abolish. I kind of want to make levy-focused nobles. Oh, shit. Uh, voting for levy-shifted noble obligations. Shit, I forgot that I had... I saw that council consideration thing. And, uh, and I thought that I was, I could just do it, but apparently no, I can't. Okay, but at least two of them have, are voting for me. What are they? Loyalists, pragmatists, one zealot, and one glory hound, so they shouldn't care too much. Voters who have not yet voted. I don't have any favors. I can buy a favor, but Yeah. I don't have the money for that. Okay. So, it's gonna suck. Troubadour and his wife, the, the, the what? The Troberitz has arrived from Occitania. Their performances range from vulgar satires to political sirventes and everything in between, including songs and poems of courtly love. I hope they know Falconlead. I can gain one intrigue, or I can lose gold and I'll gain the trade charitable, which gives me diplomacy, church opinion, same trade opinion, and opposite trade opinion. Do I want intrigue or diplomacy? Again, I want diplomacy. Because intrigue is worthless. 
They rejected it. Fantastic. Ah, uh, special minor titles. Vassal Revi Levy's race too long. Two characters owe you a favor. I should invest in a tech advance. What, though? I'm ahead? Huh. Okay. Feudal Vassal Opinion, City Vassal Opinion, Temple Vassal Opinion, Prestige and Piety. I think I'm... Uh, no. I'm gonna go for Tolerance. Eh. Unmarried heir, because she died, so... And he doesn't have any kids, because she was unfaithful. Fantastic. Let's go get another wife, please. Quick. Uh, reset filters. Load filter slot zero. Um, genius. I do have geniuses around. Um, a 19 year old, elusive shadow, genius, trusting, wrath, envious, honest, content woman. So I want her to marry my son. She will. Fantastic. I didn't actually see her stats, but... Oh, they're awesome as well. Yeah, so, so... Yeah, 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 Please. Please marry my son. Fantastic. That's really good. Now I kind of want to... I kind of want my actual ruler to die. <laughs> uh, I am screwed. My ruler is all the way up here fighting people that don't matter, and he's getting his country wiped out. Okay. What can I do? Uh, can I raise levies again? So, um, Froila and Mauregato are the bishops that aren't giving me any levies because they like the Pope more than me. So, I have 49, so I can give him send gift. Yep. And send gift. Yep. Oh shit, it's not enough. Award honorary title. So I'll make you my high almoner, which gives me plus opinion. Well, they all give me plus opinion, give you plus opinion, but uh, let's make it master of the horse. Wait, what? Why? Oh, it does work. So, in the meantime, before they disappear. I'll raise all these. How the hell do I have 20 people watching? Hi, people watching. Elvira has arrived at your court. Right, she's the wife of my son. Lots of people arrive at my court, okay? Ah! Ah! Help! Okay. Good. Uh, I'd like to invite you to join me for a small gathering of friends. Who are you? The Duke of Castile. Forget about the world outside. Of course I will come. An important part of ruling a realm is learning how to delegate. This is something you have finally realized and your stewardship has improved as a direct consequence. Things run more smoothly now. Plus one stewardship. My ruler is slightly less useless. Hurrah! Also, 20 diplomacy. Jesus Christ. Um, I do have two daughters. Why? Oh, I was going to ask why I don't have childhood focus yet, but I do. So, what I'm going to make of her. 
etiquette, I guess. I don't actually know what to do with daughters. She is pretty even across all stats. So I'll maybe do stewardship. And my other daughter is two years old, but I can already do this. I'll use etiquette. She's way younger, though. Okay. I'm still showing 20 people. That's probably loot doing his hackery th things. Let's gather everybody together. Gain some morale again. Although I can't quite put my finger on why it's wrong, I don't quite feel right. Okay. Wait, did the war end? Oh, Jesus! Petro is sure you have meals. He insists that you follow his instructions, okay? Spent many hours studying the stars before informing you that in order for your strength to return, you had to fast for the better half of a fortnight. Oh, cool. Good symptom treatment. Nice. Uh, however, this is a problem now because Asturias is slowly disappearing. And the Umayyad is... Huge! Why is he in prison? Oh, in seclusion. That's not the same as in prison. Uh, so I shouldn't actually do this, should I? You're back. What did I miss, lol? 20 viewers. That's what you missed. Everything else? Uh, there was this war. I lost it. I mean, not me. My liege lost it because he decided that Fighting in fucking Lotharingia was more important. Where the hell is he? Isn't even around anymore. Yeah. Like, he took his army from here and went all the way up there to fight in a war for something else. And he just lost half his kingdom. So that's smart. Um, dudes, I, I really, really need this fucking fabrication to work. I can't have a seven diplomacy chancellor anymore. Okay. Um, dot. Search all for men, not geniuses. Search all for men, not imprisoned. Any of that. Ruler, no. Diplo range, yes. Join court, yes. Any religion, any group, any adult, yes. Great house, I don't care. So I will save this to slot one. And this is like job finder. And I need to know who's the biggest diplomat of them all. There is a French diplomat who has 18. That's gonna be you. Invite to court, please. Managing the large staff of servants in your castle is in many ways like managing a small realm. There are many duties to be performed and getting things to run smoothly is a true challenge. You have spent some time reorganizing your household and your stewardship has improved. Gain plus one. Awesome. You. Disband. Okay. I have one more stewardship. I have six now. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, this is a huge problem. Unless, like, the Idrisids just really go on the Umayyads, like, really hard, I think this campaign is gonna get slowly killed. Fabrication takes forever, I know, but what the fuck else can I do? Where's my plus seven? Teen. There you are. He's accepted. Also, I have abdominal pain. Fantastic. Uh, appoint the 18 guy. Yeah, so now please fabricate on Santiago. County of Santiago is directly under the King of Asturias, so I can get it. Um...
Almost 300 prestige, two characters owe me a favor, everybody hates me, special minor titles. Press the jour, Ducal claims if I want to die. So. That's going to be that. Uh, I can seek treatment for illness. I will. I really do need that. Um, what else? I can borrow money, extort subjects for a war chest thing. But otherwise... Not really. There's not really anything I can do. What am I missing from, like... People who are good at their jobs? The steward is kind of eh, but I'm not going to look around for that. In the early stages of gout, so awesome. To re remedy your abdominal pain, he rubbed a strangely scented oil on my stomach and told me to repeat the procedure every morning. I'm not sure that did anything. And I'm fatigued. Goddamn illnesses. <sighs> Points to cancer. He insists that you follow his instructions. I have a typhoid Mary achievement. Whatever that means. Had his assistant plant some onions. The first to bloom would tell us whether to stop the ointment or not. Until then, you rub the sticky stuff onto your chest. And I gain plus two health. Jesus Christ. Okay, do I still have cancer, though? Oh, yes. Malaise, abdominal pain, fatigue. Um, but it's not sure that I have cancer yet. Let's hope not. Uh, you're married again. Yes, you are. She is pretty goddamn fantastic. I can't wait to die to have he him inherit the realm so that she can do stuff for him. So, yeah, fabrications take forever, but I can't really do anything else. So, I have cancer. Fantastic. Uh, fertility is gone, health is gone, but I do have a mild form, form of cancer and excellent symptom treatment. So, these cancel each other out already. So, it should be fine, hopefully. I've arrived at the private room of Duke Roderico. There is plenty of food and drink, and the mood is decidedly merry. So I'm carousing, and I get monthly prestige. <laughs> Your court physician, Petro, has come to see you and offer treatment. He explains that there are several different types of treatment he can offer. So, experimental or well tested. There's no middle ground. I'll perform an experimental treatment. It is cancer and I'm 54 and my air is really good. Oh shit. Um, you couldn't understand why this was the risky treatment option. I get horrible mistreatment. Oh god. I'm gonna die. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Okay, that's a thing. 